We was the first book to be banned in the Soviet Union and the original dystopian novel. I read it weeks ago in two days and I was really impressed by the whole concept of this novel. In this video, I'll show details of this beautiful Folio Society edition while I share with you some thoughts on this book. Yevgeny Zamyatin was born in 1884 in Russia. He was imprisoned by the Tsarist police and initially he supported the Bolsheviks, but soon he was against the growing authoritarianism of his nation. The result is We, first published in New York in 1924. In We, our main character is D-503, a spacecraft engineer. Through him, we get to know the One State, a society entirely ruled by reason and logic. The daily life is completely controlled by a table of hours. Society, in our character's view, has solved two main problems that used to rule the world, love and hunger. According to our POV character, life in the One State is blessed by tailorized happiness, inspired by the ideas of Frederick Winslow Taylor. Men are described as numbers. Their names are numbers. D-503 is pleased and excited to live under the one state. He knows his place. He is deeply rational and he has a brilliant mind. He is creating an amazing spaceship called Integral, built to conquer other planets. But during the story, something happens to D-503 something in his own words that he couldn't express in numbers. And because of it, he started to have dreams, and dreams are a sign of sickness. There are two main themes that interest me a lot in this book. Freedom versus happiness. I versus we. This is a translation, but I found this style very beautiful, sometimes poetic, but full of mathematical analogies. To quote D-503 when he realizes that something changed inside him, he says, Now I wasn't living in our rational world. I was in the ancient, delirious world, the world where minus one has roots. Well, there are two main visions about happiness in this book, from the mouths of two different characters. Quote, And happiness. What is it, after all? Desires are torment, aren't they? And it's clear that happiness is when there are no longer any desires, not even one. What a mistake, what a stupid prejudice it's been all these years to put a plus sign in front of happiness. Absolute happiness should, of course, have a minus sign, a divine minus, end of quote. The final idea of happiness presented in the novel is the following. Quote, what is that people beg for, dream about, torment themselves for, from the time they leave swallowing clothes? They want someone to tell them, once and for all, what happiness is, and then to bind them to that happiness with a chain. This Folio Society edition is illustrated by Kit Russell and introduced by Ursula K. Le Guin. I enjoy everything about this copy and the novel itself, and I strongly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and to get notifications of new videos, you just need to hit the bell button. I recently created a Patreon profile, and I'd like to thank our patrons for supporting and believing in this channel. I'll see you all next Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Bye.